Welcome back everyone to Tarantula Exotics and today we are doing a rehouse which I have been looking forward to but also a little worried about for the last little while now. Today we are rehousing my Heteroscroger Maculata. Now the last time I rehoused one of these guys they are incredibly fast and I did it in a very poor way. I tried to do it without a catch cup, without a surrounding enclosure to protect it, to keep it inside and long story short it ended up in my sweater. Thankfully I got it out after about 30 minutes of looking around my room for it and it was on me the entire time but needless to say I learned my lesson and that's when I started using catch cups. I have two catch cups off to the side here. I have a large kind of enclosure to within the enclosure just so I have something to uh, let it run around in if it does decide to bolt on me and of course I have its new setup right here as well right next to the current one. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to try and limit every possibility I can of it running out on me but of course that's never a guarantee so let's begin with this rehouse heteroscroger maculata here we come all right let the rehouse begin I'm gonna move the new enclosure off to the side here we're gonna focus just on its current enclosure and hopefully this goes smoothly I actually haven't seen him for the last maybe two weeks now so he's probably burrowed somewhere I don't think he's in molt right now, but obviously we'll find that out as we dig in. And we're going to begin by just kind of removing things and moving things around. And seeing if we can find him in here with the paintbrush. We're going to be looking for movement, we're going to be looking for pretty much anything we can find to identify him without him going crazy. Now this enclosure is obviously getting far too small for him, so the goal here is to find him without disturbing him too much. Take these webs off, just in case he's in there, and just take out the water dish at first. Okay, so water dish is out. Check this for any signs. Okay, move that off. Uh, now I don't see anything in here. But I'm going to try and take this part very gently just in case as well. Okay, I think we can rule out that piece. And as far as in here goes, kind of the same thing, not really seeing anything in here. Probably shouldn't use my fingers, but I mean I've kind of ruled it out, so I think we're okay. Alright, so that's one bit down. Let's try and get this piece out. Same thing looking at it, don't see anything. Quite a bit of webbing here, but no signs of him. Move that off to the side. Okay, and now we're kind of getting into the territory where he could be, which is underneath this leaf somewhere. You can see a lot of stuff coming up right now. And there he is right there. Okay, he's freaking out a little bit, so we have to hopefully let him be calm. Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side. Okay, move this over. Okay, he's in that corner right down there. Hopefully you guys can see him. Move the lid off to the side. We're gonna use this to try and get him in here. And I'm gonna try and get him into this corner. Maybe this corner. Okay, he's on the run. He is right there. We got him. So there he is in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna let it real quick. Come around, make sure the focus is catching that. And yeah, I'd say he's probably about, I don't know, maybe an inch and a quarter, if I had to guess. So let's see how the autofocus is doing. All right, so he's in here. Let's attempt to Get the focus on. 
And there he is. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna lit it back up. And then we'll get him into his new enclosure. Okay, put him off to the side there. You can take this old enclosure out. We have the new enclosure right here, which I think he's really gonna like. Plenty of space to burrow, plenty of um, climbing space as well, because they are semi-arboreal. So, I think he's gonna like this. Now the part of getting him into here is a whole different story. So we're gonna grab this again. And I'm gonna come around the side here, just, I don't know if I'll be able to keep focus or not, but my plan is hopefully I can, but obviously the spider comes first, so. There he goes. Oh, wrong way, bud. You should go up. Okay, it's just on the back here. There we go, nope. He was in. And now he's out. Okay, he's back in the catch cup. Let's attempt this again. Here he comes. Doesn't seem to want to come out. Perfect, okay, I don't know if you saw that. My hand might've been in the way, but he's actually in the cork bark right now. Exactly where I want him to go. I'm gonna grab the lid here. Uh, this cage was off of Wish. It was kind of an experiment to purchase, so I actually had to glue the top down. Uh, so this part doesn't actually move anymore. But, latch it back up. Just like that. And I'm also going to, once this video is done recording, uh, I'm actually going to see the sides are kind of mesh. I'll be changing those to be uh, the tops of cricket containers, so it'll be plastic instead. But uh, just wanted to get them in there in the meantime. Make sure you felt safe and sound. And there he is. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.